It's a pleasure having you again, my friends, here on Wheel Edutech. And in this video, we'll be uh, looking at the solutions to questions 53 and 54 on our May 2012 CSEC math exam pass paper. Now, here it states, if the sum of the interior angles of a polygon is four right angles, the polygon is a, well, here they gave us some option A, a triangle, B, hexagon, C, pentagon, D, quadrilateral. Well, obviously, because they have stated that if the sum, and the word sum means to add, and they said that if the sum of the four interior, and it has four interior right angles, okay? Well, by intuition, or the whole idea behind it, uh, there are only two polygons that we can think of right now, my friends, that has four interior angles and all interior angles are right angles and number one that would be a rectangle which i'm drawing here and we know that in a in a rectangle we the four interior angles measure nine, 90 degrees each okay and also my friends uh, another situation that we have is that we have a square okay all right so another polygon in which it's four four interior angles each interior angle measures 90 is a square okay and here we have it we have both diagrams here on my in my top right hand corner and we know that each of these diagrams since they have four sides we know that a four-sided figure is called a quadrilateral so obviously d would be our correct answer okay option d now let's pull this up a bit let's pull this up a bit here it states item 54 refers to the diagram below of a construction with center a and arc bc is drawn with center and the same radius the arc pcq is drawn okay what is the measure of the angle bac Let, let's just explain this information basically what they are saying here is that uh, with center A, and if you notice, this is my center A, and arc BC is drawn. And if you notice, we have the green line here representing that arc here that they have stated, arc BC is drawn. So the A is my center, and, I'm, and I've positioned my compass at A, and I've drawn that arc BC um, with center and the same radius, okay? The arc PCQ is drawn. So what they're saying with center B, I think they, they, I think that that part was left out in the information. Uh, let's just put it in with center B. Let me just add a B there. They are saying now, oh, and the same radius, the same radius of the compass, another arc is drawn, PCQ. Okay. Now they're asking us what is the measure of this, uh, what is the measure of the angle BAC, the angle BAC. So really they're asking us what is the size of this angle here. That is the angle BAC. Okay, my friends. Uh, by intuition, I can just tell you that this is this is a 60 degree angle. Okay. However, I'm just going to show you the basic concepts behind it. Why I said that it is a 60 degree angle. Okay. So let's just flip boards and look at it quickly. Okay. Here, my friends, um, I have the information up here. So we are not going to go through that again. Now, let's say I have a line here. All right. Let's just, let me just pull out some, some of my instruments. Yes, my friends, let's say we have a line segment here, okay? And obviously, on my line segment, this would be my point A, this would be my point A, and this would be my point B, based on the diagram that, that they gave to us, okay? And let's say that's my point B. Now, basically what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to take out my compass, okay? My my compass here's my compass and simply what i'll be doing i'm going to take my compass place it at the point a okay and i'm going which is my center and here it is with center a as it's there in the instruction and arc bc is drawn so i'm going to open my compass to the point b let's say that is the point b okay and then i'm going to draw an arc bc is drawn okay in the information there so really what i'll be doing let me just change the color just to distinguish well i can use the, the blue so this is the arc bc okay now what they're saying basically is drawn with the center b 
and so they are saying now with center B so B now is my center so I'm going to place my point of my compass on B and the same radius meaning that if you notice the distance be between my pencil point and the point of my compass it, it didn't change okay my friends it's the same distance so that's what they mean by it's the same radius the arc PCQ is drawn so the arc PCQ let's just change the color now and I'm just going to simply draw that arc PCQ so this is my arc PCQ and then simply I am going to use my my pencil now and I'm just going to simply draw a straight line through that point my bad oops sorry about that let's just change that now let's just draw our line quickly let's just draw our line PCQ sorry about that guys ah uh, this is giving me a little bit of trouble okay good there is it so from a i am going to draw a line segment straight through where the blue arc and the red arc intersect okay so let's draw that line so that's our angle this is the diagram that they gave us and basically as i've said before it's a 60 degree angle that we have just constructed so this angle here my friends this oops let me use another color this angle here is a 60 degree angle that we have just constructed okay so basically this would be our point p our point p would be right there this would be our point c and this would be our point q and i would advise you to just make a take a quick look at this diagram before we switch back to our previous board okay now you could always pause the video and look at it and now we have switched back to our board and if you notice my friends if you notice we have a 60 degree angle there we have our point p c q a and b okay hope that was useful you could always comment or ask a question if you're still not sure and we'll get back to you as soon as possible okay but before we go let's just mark our answer this would be the correct answer the answer c bye bye